I have been receiving so many questions about this topic, so I wanted to create a video to give you an idea of what to expect in 2025 when it comes to your HVAC system. This video is brought to you by FilterBuy, America's number one choice for quality, affordable filters. You might already know this, but in 2025, R410A equipment is no longer going to be available. The new refrigerant is typically going to be R32, and that is an A2L refrigerant. It is flammable. So there's a lot of differences with the new refrigerant that's being rolled out in 2025. But to answer a few questions about this that I've gotten, R410A will still continue to be sold and manufactured, but they're going to significantly reduce the amount of 410A that they're producing. And year after year, they're going to reduce it until it's eventually none. But as of 2025, they'll still be producing R410. So you can buy a jug of refrigerant at abilityrefrigerants.com. You are supposed to have your EPA certificate in order to purchase it, but you have to check this box saying that you have it. And I have a video in our training videos section in our memberships that shows how to get that EPA certificate so you can handle refrigerants. Now here's the big change. The new equipment in 2025 is gonna be A2L flammable refrigerant. What does that mean for you as a DIYer, as a homeowner? It means that just about everything in the residential HVAC industry is estimated to increase by 30%. That's a huge difference compared to previous years. Maybe things went up 10%, but this is tripling. So in 2025, things are going to get expensive. So if your system is on its way out, I highly recommend replacing it before 2025, January 1st, because it's gonna be a lot more expensive than it currently is. Now, before we get into some more specifics about the A2L, the new refrigerant and the equipment, I just wanna talk about something that you might not be aware of. So as a homeowner, you are able to purchase your equipment. Now, the truth is a lot of HVAC contractors want to make all of the money. They wanna make the markup on the equipment and they wanna make money on their labor. Whereas some contractors are okay and they do just as good of a job doing the labor. That means they don't have to purchase the equipment. They don't have to bring it on site. They can just show up at your doorstep with all their tools, install it, register it, and they can still make a decent day's wage. So if you wanna go this route, I highly recommend calling a few contractors, seeing who is willing to install the equipment beforehand, because the last thing you want is to have equipment sent to your door and nobody to install it. Now the other alternative, many of our videos show how you can replace your HVAC system. It's, there's some technical aspects to it, but if you're a mechanically minded person, you can absolutely do it. And you can purchase, say a thousand dollars worth of tools and still potentially save five to $7,000. It's like absurd how much these companies are charging. Now, as far as the A2L refrigerants, there's some significant changes. So being as A2L refrigerants are flammable, they're not extremely flammable, they are mildly flammable, but this does mean that there's a lot more safety concerns being as there's flammable refrigerants. So if there ends up being a leak inside, that could be a huge danger, especially with having a gas furnace right there in the winter time. But that being said, there's a lot more safety features on this equipment. So on the condenser, on the coil, you're gonna have sensors that are very sensitive to that refrigerant and they will shut everything down if any of that gas is present. So being as these sensors are on the equipment, that's naturally gonna make the equipment more expensive. In addition to that, some of the installation procedures might be a little bit different. I do know that brazing is still going to be a thing with A2L refrigerants. So contractors aren't gonna to have to purchase expensive crimping machines or flameless tools to install the equipment, but the general labor of installing that equipment could go up as a result. Now, a lot of people say that nothing's gonna change, but 2025 is a different year in that this new equipment is being rolled out. So it's different than previous years where everything increases by a little bit. And I do suspect they're gonna be pretty accurate with that 30% jump. Now, for instance, if you're wondering, um, should I wait until 2025? Um, because of lack of being able to get 410A. Now that's a good question, but my personal take is that I would advise getting a system before 2025 if it's on its last legs. Now I don't gain anything from you replacing your system before 2025 versus after, that's just my personal opinion. But food for thought here, 
Um, R22 was starting to be phased out in 2008. They stopped manufacturing R22 refrigerant and it moved to 410A. But look where we're at now. Even though this is 16 years later, we're still able to purchase R22 refrigerant and charge systems that are still running. So that's not gonna be an issue of not being able to get 410A refrigerant um, for a long time to come. So that's my personal take on what's going to happen with the HVAC field starting in 2025. Again, take my words with a grain of salt. Now, if you're interested in learning more about HVAC, maybe you're not familiar with how it works or you're getting into this trade and you just wanna learn a little bit more, check out our HVAC training videos where we walk you through the very basics, how a refrigerant cycle works, how different equipment is oriented, how to get your EPA certificate, how to size equipment. All of those things are included in our HVAC training courses. And as an additional perk, when you join that membership, you'll automatically be entered for our monthly giveaways valued between $500 and $2,000. For the month of July, we're giving away a solar mini split system valued at about $2,000. All you have to do is go to our home screen here, click the join button, and you can see our different membership tiers there. Any of those will get you automatically entered. Now, if you wanna check out the solar mini split that was mind-blowingly easy to install, you can check out the install video right there. You'll be blown away by how awesome this thing is. Anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.